What is salsa? Salsa. It's everywhere in the movies, TV, clubs, music videos, and at any local dance studio. But does anyone really know how this sexy, sensuous Latin dance came about? Find out the answer in NY Salsa 101, The History of Salsa. Salsa is an internationally popular dance style that has its roots in Latin America, Africa, the Caribbean, and North America. The word salsa translates as the word for sauce and also connotes a spicy flavor, hence the sensual aesthetic of the dance. The origins of salsa start in Cuba when African rhythms came to the New World through the slave trade in the form of the rumba. The sounds of these ancient times were used to call forth various gods. Slaves were forced to convert to Christianity but managed to preserve their heritage by using code words to refer to their own gods. In Cuba, African drum rhythms blended with the Cuban official music and the dance of danzón. A style known as the Cuban son emerged and we now start to hear the claves play a central part of Afro-Cuban music. This is the clave. The clave is one of the most important instruments, if not the most important instrument in Latin American music, Afro-Caribbean music, and West African music. Radio broadcasting came to Cuba in 1922, along with alcoholic Americans seeking to escape prohibition laws. This exposed a large population of Westerners to the Cuban zone, and for the first time, Afro-Caribbean music became popular in the United States. Renamed the rumba, the music and dancing began to appear in American salons in the 1930s. Now keep in mind that this rumba is actually the Cuban zone, and it doesn't look anything like the rumba that's actually done in Cuba. So I, I don't know. And well, it's still a popular style today among ballroom dancers. The rumba, in many ways, it looks like a slower version of salsa. It's got some of the you know footwork elements, the hu Cuban hip motion, and the arm styling as well. Now, even with the danzón, which has its origins in, believe it or not, English social dancing. So, I mean, if you really wanted to trace the origins of uh, what we consider Latin social dancing, uh, you'd probably go back to, like, Jane Austen days. Well, anyways, even with the danzón, you can see the beginnings of the basic back and forward break of the basic time step. So in the early 1900s, a Cuban composer named Orestes Lopez wrote a danzón piece called Mambo. In 1943, a famous band leader and a friend of Lopez named Perez Prado began to call his own brand of music Mambo, which actually means conversation with the gods, that, you know, calling back to the whole African influence of this music. Perez's mambo was a more upbeat version of the Cuban music of the time and contained big brass and drum sound to it. The story goes that he came up with a dance to go with the mambo music and introduced the mambo dance at La Tropicana nightclub in Havana in the year 1943 as well. Prado Perez took tour in the United States in 1951 and the mambo became a craze and Perez became known as the famed mambo king. 